Joining us today for this week's entertainment panel is La Classic Abby St. John. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Of course, anytime. Now, starting off, we got some interesting topics. You know, the first one is definitely what a lot of people are talking about for all the Marvel and Disney fans out there. And then we got a pretty sad topic right after this. But to start off on a brighter note, uh, Moon Knight, first episode was released on Disney Plus on Wednesday. And then we were all pumped to be able to watch this because for me personally, I don't really know much about that character Moon Knight itself, but I do hear that it's going to be interesting. And from watching it, I already love Oscar Isaac's performance. Um, it's already got great ratings with the 94% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, it's got Egyptian mythology and culture a lot involved in it. Uh, we got Ethan Hawke, some great action sequences already in the first ep. And uh, Oscar Isaac is honestly hilarious from already watching it. Yeah, I think the first episode was fantastic. I think they really started off very strong. You know, it already is diving into his sleep paralysis and, you know, him having to chain up his leg uh, when he goes to sleep, tape up his door, chain it up, uh, does everything that he can to, you know, make sure that he doesn't leave where he is. Um, and yeah, the episode takes place. He wakes up in a different country. He has no idea what's going on. Uh, I'm not going to give too much away, obviously. Um, you'll have to watch it, but it's definitely bloodier than what we're used to seeing in Marvel, especially. Um, definitely more psychological. Um, I agree with you when you say Oscar Isaac is fantastic. I think he was a great choice for it. Um, and Ethan Hawke was fantastic, too. He plays this cult leader who follows this Egyptian deity, Amit. Um, and it's so interesting. Um, I've always been a fan of mythology. And so having, you know, something different, you know, we're used to, you know, I think Greek mythology is so popular and, you know, everyone knows about, you know, Zeus and um, Athena, but no one really talks about Egyptian uh, mythology. And I think that is really interesting. And I'm really glad that we're getting, you know, an entire series revolved around it. Um, and I think this was a fantastic choice of uh, something to bring into the Marvel universe. And I'm excited to see the rest of the season. Yeah, I agree definitely on the Greek mythology thing of how that's the most popular one that, you know, that's involved in so many film and TV shows and whatnot. So now they kind of having Egyptian mythology involved in this was a lot more interesting and fascinating just to learn a little bit about it and just having it more involved showing that culture I think is pretty important to see that on screen as well and yeah he honestly is just so good in his performance so I think it is definitely going to be interesting for a lot of people that are going to check it out for the first time I was a little bit shocked to see it like you said how much a little bit more blood and stuff is involved in it but I thought it was definitely a great spin for Marvel you know sometimes that's you know sometimes it's good to show that you know it gives a little bit more like intense intensity involved in it when you're watching it but I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it when they do finally watch that first episode I recommend it to even all non-Marvel fans out there if they want to you know at least check it out but now moving on to a topic that is very unfortunate very sad right now but this you know this news almost uh, also came out on Wednesday had to do with Bruce Willis and uh, after 45 years of acting in his career he's got uh, aphasia di a diagnosis that um, you know, has affected his uh, struggle. It struggles to make you verbally communicate. And uh, he has finally quit and decided to tell his family and all the fans around the world. And I think everybody was a little bit sad to hear it. But, you know, it's good to see how strong that support is from other celebrities that they are showing out there and, you know, an understanding of what's happening. So it's very sad news right now. Yes, it is very sad. He, you know, he's a legend in the acting world, you know, some of his movies weren't always the greatest, but he's definitely known, best known for Die Hard, The Sixth Sense, and of course, Quentin Tarantino's classic cult, uh, cult classic, Pulp Fiction. So he's had a great career, very long career, and it is very sad that we will no longer be seeing him on screen. Um, yeah, his, uh, the, the diagnosis has now affected his cognitive abilities, so he has stepped back from acting. His daughters, plus his ex-wife, Demi Moore, took to Instagram to announce his retirement, saying to Bruce's amazing supporters as a family, we wanted to share that our beloved Bruce has been experiencing some health issues and has, and as a result of this, and with so much consideration, Bruce is stepping away from the career that has meant so much to him. Um, you know, they're very, th th she went on and saying that they're very appreciative for all the support um, they've been given from fans and fellow actors as well. So... I think uh, it is a loss in, in Hollywood, but uh, 
you know, we still have his films from the past to look back on to remember, you know, his legacy and whatnot. And, you know, he's still alive. So I think that's what the most important part of this whole is. Um, but it is definitely sad that he is stepping away. Yeah, like you said, I think it is pretty, it's a big loss for Hollywood, but it is understanding. And I think a lot of fans are just sad from this day, but it, it makes sense now for a lot of people that were wondering why he was doing some a little bit more uh, low key projects, you know, in a lot of other films that he's been doing over the past uh, a lot few years. Uh, he's been doing a lot of more low key projects and people are wondering what was happening, but now it's starting to, you know, the dots are starting to connect and people are definitely understanding what he was up to all this time. And uh, hopefully, you know, he will get better, uh, not get better, but you know kind of gets through it easier with his family and his loved ones and uh, hopefully he just you know has a great rest of his life when it, after this career but like you said you know he's still alive and hopefully we'll be able to still hear from him uh, online and everything and whatnot but it is understanding and it, it was a sad day but I think everybody wishes him the best but unfortunately that's all the time now we have for this week's entertainment panel once again thank you so much for joining us today Abby of course thank you